Hey, thanks for joining me on this video. And today we're going to be making a cheddar cheese sauce, which is going to be great for your nachos. Now, the problem with cheddar cheese is that the oils tend to separate when you melt it and it turns into just a really crazy mess. So I'm going to show you the secret ingredient that's going to fix that for you. And you're going to be able to make the wildest cheese sauces you've ever made. So what you're going to need is your favorite cheese. Really, cheddar is what we're using here, but you can use whatever you want. Some sort of liquid like milk, beer, chicken stock, really whatever. It doesn't matter. And you're going to need this. This is the secret weapon. It's called sodium citrate. Sodium citrate is an ingredient that is used in molecular gastronomy to do all sorts of stuff. And without getting into the science, because I don't have the time for that right now, let me just show you how it works. It's basically a salt derived from citric acid. And when combined in your liquid, it's going to just produce the most magical of kitchen miracles. And so get ready for this because I'm going to show you what it looks like as we do that very thing. I'm going to be making potatoes a gratin. So for the cheese mixture, I'm using milk. But if you're going to be making a dip or for nachos, I would recommend some sort of a beer, maybe an ale or even a Bud or a Miller Light or something like that. So the process is going to be done in the exact same manner. Add your liquid, whatever it is, to your pot, and you're going to want to bring it to a boil. As it slowly comes to a boil, you're going to want to add your sodium citrate. Now, because I'm using milk, um, I'm having to stir mine a little more often so it doesn't scorch the bottom and, and burn to the bottom. But once you bring it to a boil, add the sodium citrate and you're going to mix it well so that it dissolves. And it dissolves fairly quick. And so it's not something that you have to worry about. Generally, within about 10 seconds, it's completely dissolved and it's ready for you to add your cheese. Now, like I said, you can add cheddar, mozzarella, you can add provolone, you can add gouda, blue cheese, you can you can really add whatever fresh cheese you want. And this is going to melt it into an absolutely gorgeous liquid. And it's going to make a really smooth and creamy cheese sauce. And here in a minute, I'm going to give you some ideas of what you could do with this after the fact. Now, the recipe I'm going to give you is uh, a fairly standard recipe for sodium citrate. And if you want your cheese sauce to be a slight bit thinner, just add more liquid. So you're going to be able to gauge the consistency based off of how you uh, how you want your cheese sauce. And remember, as it cools down, it also thickens up a little bit. So you might want to start off with it a little runny. But you're going to see here what happens in the next 20 seconds as this cheese sauce is starting to melt. And immediately, if you've ever melted cheddar cheese, you can already tell, wow, this stuff's holding together. And it's going to do this every time, 100% of the time, because of the science behind the way that it interacts with the molecules of fat and protein, which is really cool. Notice how creamy, how smooth. <laughs> this is absolutely perfect. In here, you can add your Rotel, your jalapenos. You could put you know, tomatoes, whatever you want. And now you've got a wonderful, wonderful nacho sauce. But you don't have to exclusively use it for nachos. Like I said, I'm making potatoes au gratin. But you can also make mac and cheese. You can pour this over your sautéed or your steamed vegetables and have a wonderful cheesy ve vegetable medley. If you like uh, broccoli cheddar soup like they sell at Panera Bread, bam, broccoli cheddar soup. Use this as the, as the cheddar mix inside your soup and you're not going to have a, a grainy soup. And so you could do all sorts of things. And here's something to consider. With this particular recipe, if you put slightly less milk, this will actually harden and form into a mold. So you can actually make your own cheese slices by adding your own gourmet different types of cheeses, mixing it up, and then putting in the fridge in so some sort of a mold like a bread mold. So remember, if you want to do that, just add a little bit more sodium citrate or a little less liquid Put some saran wrap in a bread mold, pour your cheese sauce in it, and let it cool overnight in the fridge, and it'll be one solid block, and you can have a really cool, like, marbled cheese slice with different gourmet cheeses. Anyway, just an idea. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the kitchen.